How you going doing guys? Uh, Randy Richard here in the shop. Uh, so the other day I had my uh, steady rest project where I redid the buttons. And I realized I really should make some mounting bolts uh, or studs and stuff for to mount it on the on the, the compound here for those uh, follow rest. So that led into uh, making some studs. Well I go, well, that'd be a good project to uh, use a collet on, because I had some 7 16 material. So I go, well, I, I might as well use the collet attachment on the lance lathe, just to, haven't used it yet, so I thought I'd give it a go. Uh, I have a call, if I see, it's a 5C collet attachment, uh, closer. I have that set up already on the uh, Logan lathe, and uh, that work, it works really good. Then I thought I'd try it out on the lance. So, Here's the, this is the closer part of it. Uh, this is the draw bar, it's th threaded on the end here for the, to attach, so the collet can attach. And this is the closer part here. Now, uh, it was kind of gummy and stuff, so I decided I'd disassemble it. So I could, took it all apart, uh, cleaned it, put it back together again. It works uh, fine, it's in really good shape, and. Uh, now it works even better. It's nice and smooth. Uh, you can, I don't know if you can see that sliding back and forth. Um, it has a cam over section in here. It's a uh, set of ball bearings and such. That, so it cams over and pulls your collet closed. Now this, this goes in the back of the spindle. Uh, this part here uh, attaches, uh, slides over the spindle with two, with two keys. And so this whole this whole portion here uh, turns right. This whole part here, not the handle. The handle's uh, attached to the actual housing on a lathe through a little leverage arm, and it just kind of, it just spins. So let me I'm gonna slip that in the back here. It's my take off my mic. Okay, so that's uh, back in the spindle. So we have a few other parts. This here is goes over the nose of the spindle. The spindle mount is uh, L00. So it has a key. It's tapered inside here. And it has a, a big ring nut that goes on here to hold this on. This, this has a two uses that there's a, okay, so it protects your spindle for one and it keeps that nut ring here from flopping around. It's, it spins all with the spindle, turns. So the other parts of the collet setup is, is this sleeve. The sleeve, the spindle is a five Morris taper spindle. So that's, that's what this is here. And the inside here is for the 5C is uh, machine for the 5C collet to go into. And there's a little keyway to put that in there that helps uh, orient it and keep it from spinning, of course. And then the drawbar attaches here. Well, not there. There's a nut. There's a nut arrangement, uh, like a little coupling nut goes on there. And then the drawbar spins into that. And that would pull this. So when you release, you release it, open the collet, and then you close the collet and pull it tight on your work. So I said this 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 spindle nut here. It has two purposes, right? It has a shoulder here. So when you put this on, this will go through there and goes. There's a shoulder there. Well. And it doesn't seat on that shoulder uh, because you want it to seat on the spindle right here or you know, on, uh, on here and that maintains the concentricity of the whole works that's why you can get a collet to spin a zero or very close to zero run out so what this nut thing part does guard when you when you have it all in there that that sleeve is jammed tight into lathe, right? And when you loosen it, you 
it will pop you you, you pop push it out push this the nut part i mean this guard part off of the spindle it will pull that sleeve out of the spindle for you pop it out that's that's what this is that's the other purpose of this so i'm gonna uh i'm gonna move the camera over or i'll put up another camera and I'm going to show you a close-up of what the problem ended up being. Now, this is a really uh, major problem. So, let me uh, let me get things moved. Okay, we're all turned around here. So you can see this this is a, a tapered spindle with a big key, about about three eighths. Um, the inside bore right here is a five Morris taper. So the sleeve, you know, goes right in there. Actually, that fits just if I push it, boy, just it'll be tight instantly. It fits that. It fits really nice. Um, in there. Then the collar, of course, will be in there. So that's how you want it to be. If you didn't have this this nut here, you wouldn't. You really wouldn't need any. Thing to hold this nut. This is this tur all turns with the spindle, so you got to retain that nut for one. So what they did is, of course, they've made this this here this this here nut that, that, that threads on there. So we're going to thread this on. Now, as I'm tightening it up right here, this back side does not touch the spindle. It does not register against the nose of the very nose face of the spindle. It, it registers on that outside taper. And then you use a, a spanner wrench to snug that up. So this here would go, goes in here. The only place it registers is on the taper. It's not supposed to sit against this shoulder, you know, the two flanges. Because like I said, this is designed to be able to remove this when you, when you loosen it. So you want it to register on the taper. Now, when you slip this into just this uh, this cover, spindle cover, not on the lathe, this flange surface will be below this surface here, maybe oh, a good twenty thousandths or so, thirty thousandths. But when I slip it in here right now, it's flush. Okay, so I know it's registering um, I, because if it was sitting flat against there, it wouldn't, it would be below that surface. I didn't measure it or anything yet, but that's, so it goes in there and I can push it in and it's pretty much flush. I'll, I'll make sure I can get that out. Okay. Okay, but so here's the problem. Here's what happened. So when I did that, it really wasn't flush at all. It was sitting out here, 30 or 40 thousandths, proud of that surface. And when you, so it's not registering on the spindle. And so when you put a collet in and then you put a workpiece in, it had 20, 25 thousandths run out. It was, it was way out of whack. And, and this didn't look straight either. It wasn't. It wasn't a square, or I should say, uh, yeah, it wasn't square. It wasn't parallel, you know, to this face. It was off a little bit. Well, so I looked at it. Now I'm going to show you some still photos of it because what I did is I filmed all this before, but I really didn't like the video. So um, I, I've I've worked on this already, but I'm going to show you some still pictures of the before. And what they'd done is they had brazed all the back side of that uh, up. They had braised it up. I, I, I don't know why. I, I, I'm, I'm thinking why is a somebody didn't know how to adjust the collet closer. Because when I was first doing it, I was going, oh, it seems like the collet closer draw bar was too long. But after working with it, and you get it adjusted properly, it wasn't too long at all. 
uh, and such. And so I'm wondering if they brazed that up because of that, because that's what they thought. Or did this break off or something, you know? Well, I could not tell if it was broken off. Uh, there's no crack or uh, any signs of that happening. Uh, I couldn't, I could not tell. And I still can't tell now even. So what I did determined was, well, that's holding this out and it was seating against this cover shoulder right here. Oh, well, that's not, not good. So that's why it wasn't concentric. So I, uh, so that, so I determined that I need to get rid of that braze on there. So I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, um, uh, show you, well, okay, here, I'll just show you real quick what I did and then I will then go over to the, then I'm going to switch over and give, show you some shots of me on the Logan lathe uh, machine in this. So what I did is I put a collet in here. This is a piece of one inch stainless and I checked this for straightness on the surface plate. It's within about one or two tenths. It's very, very, very straight. It was a, it's a very nice, very good piece. So that I put in there. And uh, let me grab this. So I made this washer that goes on there to take up, there's a gap. And so I put that together like that. And I put it in the lathe, in the collet on the, this now on the Logan lathe. So I mounted it, uh, I'm not in the collet, I mounted it on the Logan lathe in the four jaw chuck. So I could dial this in. And I dialed it in to within a tenth or so. Uh, uh, very accurate. And then I checked this. And I was out um, one and a half or so thousands. Now I'm going to show you all this over there. So. Let's just go to go to Logan Lathe for a, a better explanation. So uh, here we go. So out here I have two, about two thousand cents, some irregularities, these, um, kind of bumps up, there's like a bump there, yeah, one, one, between one, one and a half, but gotta remember they heated that up, and when they braised that, down here I have, um, Well, maybe a tenth or two, a couple tenths. That's about it. Barely moves. So that's what we're gonna do there. We're gonna go in there and we're gonna see if we can get that off of there. Just doing this really, uh, just being real gentle about this. Kind of an irregular face. Fortunately, 
when it goes in the spindle over there, it only goes that deep in the spindle. It doesn't make contact up in this area. That's why the flange is what's important here, is where it's hitting, this is hitting that, and not allowing it to go that deep. Yeah, they're okay. Let's take it out, I guess. Now I'll give you a close-up of it. That should focus on that. Probably should have reached around there, but nah, that's a little bit there. But I'll go get it undone. Hey guys, I want to give a shout out for uh, Pierre Beaudry. He's up in Canada, and he's doing videos. Uh, machining videos and stuff other stuff in his shops welding and things like that and uh, uh, want you to please go out there and uh, check his channel out and hopefully subscribe uh, he's got a really nice uh, video I was really impressed uh, with some video there he's doing about a uh, getting a six jaw chuck uh, mounted on his lathe uh, d16 type mount and uh, good video it's it's he's He's, gonna, he's trying to get some out there. So uh, go over and visit the channel. Give him a subscribe. Uh, give him a chance. So uh, thanks, uh, Pierre. Uh, he's uh, been a frequent commenter or viewer of my channel. So uh, I owe him, uh, owe him that. Uh, he's the one who made my mallet for me. And uh, the, uh, I, I gave him a, sent him a dovetail cutter up there. So he's cold and he's in his garage. But uh, he's got a good little shop. He's a machinist and uh, does some nice work. So uh, hopefully you, could, uh, you might, might be able to learn something. Probably learn more for him than, than for me. So uh, please uh, go and uh, visit his channel. That's uh, Pierre Beaudry. And uh, I'll, food, I'll, I'll try to figure out the link uh, for him and uh, get him on this video. Thanks.